Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, December 16th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. I've got a little wolf kitten who wants to go make so much noise, so probably will. Uh, and our energy mantra for today is, I expand deeper when I choose to flow with source. Woo! All right, so, so much energy coming up. Uh, we have the moon today shifting into Gemini, building us into this full moon, Gemini. This full moon feels important. This full moon is wrapping up, helping wrap up our eclipses back from May. It's helping to wrap up uh, the North Node in Gemini. We have about a month left of the North Node in Gemini. And... Ugh, the power of our mind. So today, this afternoon, before before recording, uh, my sister messaged me some intense, uh, intense stuff she's been living through with with a neighbor. Basically, there was a murder suicide in her neighborhood. Um, very intense energy, and in the world we live in. It's so crazy that we're not shocked by this anymore, even though it is shocking, right? It's so shocking. And yet we've seen these stories over and over and over again. And the power of our mind is just what kept coming up for me through this and how we have an opportunity to choose. And this, this goes hand in hand. There's, there's two streams of this, and I'm really feeling this. Part of this is Jupiter wrapping up in Aquarius. Part of this is Saturn moving through Aquarius, tuning into the vibration we want to tune into. But it's also that Gemini energy. You know, Gemini is the sign of the twins. It, like, <laughs> it's like, which way are we going to go? This way or that way? The schizophrenia card came up today. Are we going to go this way or are we going to go that way? We have been gifted with the power of focus. We have been gifted with the power to choose. Now I know that there are mental disabilities and the like which can make that not as not as easy. However, in general, I would say the larger part of the population gets to choose their focus, gets to choose where they place the power of their mind. What energy you will bring in, what energy you will feed out, what energy you will focus on, right? <laughs> and I really feel like you're definitely at kind of a, um, what is that, divide? I know there's a word for this. <laughs> the words right now are so hard for me. I don't know why. Anyway, we're, we're coming up to a fork, a fork in the woods, a fork in, a fork in the road. There, there's, there's the phrase, a fork in the road. Um, we're coming upon this fork in the road. And I would say this year, <laughs> this year, as we face this Pluto return energy, we get to choose where we place our mind because our mind is a powerful instrument in each and our in each and everyone's hands and head. So being very aware <laughs> where you are aligning your mind. Is your mind aligned with source? Is your mind aligned with love? Is your mind aligned with compassion? Is your mind aligned with healing and forgiveness? Or are you feeling vengeful? Are you angry? Are you frustrated? Are you holding on to so many things. This is an opportunity at this time to align with and connect to healing energy in your mind. This full moon, no, uh, no, uh, what is it? Coincidences, no coincidences. I love that this moon, this full moon at this almost the same time, almost a few hours, two hours before, almost the same time as this full moon, we have a square between Chiron, Chiron the wounded healer, and Mercury. Mercury in Capricorn. Mercury in Capricorn brings on the responsibility of our mind, right? And connecting to uh, Chiron, that healing energy, 
we have an opportunity to go through a healing portal with this full moon. And it starts today as we engage with the moon in Gemini, as it comes in and we get we get our start working with this energy. So I would encourage you uh, to start working with that. And it's really interesting because it really is like, what path are you going on for like the next several years? Uh, we have Mars working the south node. So there may be some old stuff, again, that we feel we feel pulled into, we feel called into. Luce has things to say about this. <laughs> um, and we have the moon running over the north node. North node hanging out with Sarah's energy, that, uh, that nurturing mother energy. What path are we nurturing forward? I have a bunch of... I call them retrograde cards, upside down cards. In fact, all of the cards are upside down today. Some of them are pretty intense, except for the source card. Hence, hence the energy mantra. Can you align with source? And what is source to you? Source to me is divine love, ultimately. That is the truest energy of source to me. That's the most clear alignment I can connect with with source is divine love. What, what? Are you thinking? All encompassing can have no opposite. It, the source is all encompassing and can have no mm -hmm. opposite. And do you think source is divine love? Yes. Beautiful. All right. Well, there we go. So, <laughs> uh, so we're aligning and working with that energy with the moon shifting into Gemini. That's going to be four. Sorry, not four. Twelve forty-three p.m. Pacific time that we have that shift happening. Before that, Moon in Taurus is bringing us through some lessons. Um, very soon after moving in, the Moon will oppose Mars. We may feel some of this angst energy to come up. And again, this is an opportunity for healing. When the angst comes through. It is coming through to show you what is going on, what's really going on within you that can be processed, released, and, he and healed. So it is my recommendation that you listen to that energy as it rises, as it comes up, especially, again, as the South Node energy is very engaged with Mars. We may feel knee-jerk reactions of patternings that we want to fall into that are no longer completely aligned with source, with divine love energy. Um, the rest of the connections through the day, uh, the morning part, before the moon shifts, moon and Taurus connecting to Pluto, connecting to Venus, and connecting to Jupiter. I think that, I'm going to start with the moon squaring Jupiter. That square energy, again, it's reminding us, like, Get grounded. The grounding is important. It's important to take steps on this planet, but also don't be daunted by, by the 3D. Don't be daunted by these stories. Keep holding a vision of love because otherwise I think sometimes the energy can feel so oppressive. So we need we need to align with hope. We need to align with a good vision. Um, moon connecting to both Pluto and Venus. Uh, interestingly enough, what my sister shared with me happened while Venus and Pluto were aligning. Um, your choice, your responsibility is so important on the planet at this time. And that Venus energy really making a commitment through this Venus retrograde that's incoming, really making a commitment to your yin, to your intuition, to your, to your softness, and also to the part of you that can hold space for the gamut of feelings, all of that is going to be so important in coming. So it's like, how can you empower this energy? How can you hold space for this energy uh, within yourself? So let's look at these other cards, shall we? I guess I should mention, after, after those transits in the morning, it is going to be a Taurus moon void course. So while we have this strong electrical energy, like I mentioned yesterday, Scope, which if you didn't watch, you should probably watch to check out some of these energies we're going to be working with the next few weeks. Um, you may feel some of that lazy cat. You may not feel completely productive. And this is important as well to know how to give yourself rest. All right, so let's look at these <laughs> retrograde cards. <laughs> Laziness in reverse. You're not being lazy when you're listening to your body and its needs. That's something that we need to, I think, outsource <laughs> or not outsource, source out. There we go <laughs> in here because it's no longer working. 
the schizophrenia card this way or that way. The only true way is within, down, into your heart. That's the way that we're being called into. The stress card, knowing when you're overwhelmed, what can you put down? How can you take your monkey out for a walk so that you don't hit the rage point so you can hold space for your whole process? And the Thunderbolt card in reverse. So the Thunderbolt card, when it's in reverse, I'll oftentimes feel like there's two ways. One is like, well, this is a possibility of the day that you don't have to go into. So we have that. But I also feel sometimes it is old stuff coming up to be reprocessed. And as Mars is running over the south node and we're building to this full moon in Gemini, you may find that there are some old situations that you need to address. How can you bring them to source? How can you bring them to source and divine love to these energies? Because there is healing available. And remembering that, is the source of our up leveling it supports us all in the up leveling and the elevation uh into what's next so whew, that's it for today you can book a reading email me mimi clark at gmail.com uh holiday readings available gift certificates available all kinds of things email me if you have any questions about that besides that better gets the better gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power and stay curious namaste